He's one of the greatest Vikings to wear purple. We catch up with number 53, Mick Tinglehoff. They're state champs again. We welcome the Eden Prairie Boys hockey team. And from the Mayak, the Tommies are kings. We talk national championship for St. Thomas. And the Swarm are playing for playoffs. One of their Bash brothers talks across. It's all ahead. It's game on. And it's great to be with you again. Welcome. This is Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. I'm Rod Simons. Hope your weekend has been good. It's been warmer, and today we are all over the map. We're going to be talking titles from high school hockey to college basketball. There's some lacrosse in there, soccer as well. We're starting with a Vikings legend, but we get it all started with Game On by the Numbers. And breaking it down, the NFL labor standoff continues. The Swarm final two of three regular season games will be played at the X. The Twins' home opener is this week, Friday, at Target Field. The Wolves are staggering to the season's end. And as planned, the NFL draft continues April 28th in New York City. And couldn't be more excited to have number 53 with us. One of the greatest Vikings of all time, 50 greatest. Six-time Pro Bowler was in the four Super Bowls that the Vikings played in. And this number 53 jersey, the number has been retired. Mick Tinglehoff in the house. Great to Thank have you here. Thank you. Nice to be here. With all the folks that have been coming up and saying hello, everywhere you go, you probably still get recognized. you got to love that. The, yeah. the, the love is still oh, there. Oh, yeah, it is great. Yeah, Minnesota has been a great place to live. You know, it's really a good place to play and a great place to, to stay here and live. Do you... Uh, have fond memories of uh, of the playing days? I know that you're a f decades removed, but still, it's got to be great. Oh, yeah, it is, because uh, a lot of the old teammates are, yes. still live here. Yep. Dave Osborne lives out there, and and uh, so, you know, see Bill Brown and uh, Chuck Foreman. Carl Eller still lives here, and yeah. uh, Marshall, and so uh, it, it's a lot of fun. I get, I get emails all the time, number 53, I do say with all respect, and people want to People wonder if the Vikings are ever going to get back to the Super Bowl. Got close a couple of years, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. You wonder that? Well, yeah, I do. I I, I hope they do. Uh, but who knows? You know, it's... Uh, it's not easy getting there, is no, it? No, it's not. Even in it's your day, the, it wasn't easy. It, it's not. It, it's, it's really a tough deal because... You know, there's so many teams, and, and they're all good. It's, a, it's really a battle to, to get there. After all this time, does it still bug you a little bit that you weren't able to bring one of the four home? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think about it once in a while. You I know, bet. Every time the Super Bowl comes up, you know, I think, well, we were there, but, but you know. Yeah. But that's, what do you do, you know? It's, it's part of the game. Uh, yeah, that's part of the game, and uh, it's, it's great to get there, and it's, it's really a lot of fun to to play in him, and, uh, but it, it'd be nice to win one. You know? He is not only a great former Viking, but he has someone very, very special, new to this world, who we're gonna introduce in just the next segment. It's just the cutest little thing I think I've ever seen in my life. And don't forget, you can get all the fan updates at our GameOnTVMN.com website. It's chock full of information. Brandon on baseball, the boss on MMA, extensive outreach on the Vikings with Shockers Locker, Holt on hockey as well. We link you to our partners, purplepride.org, and you can find it all. Check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Now from Fan HQ, hearing from the fan what they expect of the 2011 Twins. Well, I'm excited to have Justin Morneau back. I think the pitching staff's uh, uh, really excellent this year, and, and uh, uh, the team's going to put it together. I'm just real confident about it. Get ready to enter the hive. Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm Lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. 
Hi friends, when you make mortgage decisions, Caliber Funding delivers a better experience. Caliber walks you through the process step by step and trained Caliber consultants have an array of resources to help you. Ask your loan officer about Caliber's guarantee that loan documents can be delivered three days before close. Caliber Funding is a well-capitalized direct lender, MLS number 80636, and Caliber is an equal housing lender. Caliber offers a more productive experience for you. At Caliber, you'll see a lending difference. Find us at caliberfunding.com. Everything that goes into a Linux system is engineered for absolute comfort, like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity, or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Friends, it's time to step into the world of Willie's. It's a great neighborhood bar that has a pub feel. It's a public gathering place for friends and family. They do it all too. Cribbage, darts, they have meat raffles. They have all the big screens to take care of your game watching needs. And best of all, they have a staff that's eager to make it memorable for you. You gotta check it out. It's Willie's off Coon Rapids Boulevard and 610. Great to have you back. This is Game On. All Powered right. by the Courtside Bar Grill. The smile is from ear to ear. Yeah. We're looking at pictures of your newest grandchild. You have 12 grandchildren, and this is Jalen Tinglehoff, who's one week old. <laughs> Beautiful baby girl. Yes. Yes, she is. Yeah. 12 grandchildren. They keep you busy. Yes, they do. Do they know that you were uh, one of the greatest Vikings of all time? Well, not yet. No. <laughs> When you look at the Vikings now, I know that you kind of keep an eye on them. I, I see the ownership group not allowing the team to be in a rebuild mode. I hope they work it out. You yeah, know, you, you were telling me you yeah. hope for a return to glory. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, to, to, to win and, and have a real good team. And, uh, I mean, the fans here in Minnesota are unbelievable. I mean, they're great fans. I mean, you can't find better fans. And... Um, and to, to go back to the Super Bowls or to win or get in the playoffs or something, that would be great. When you were honored last uh, winter as one of the 50 greatest, that had to be pretty special. It really was. Yeah, that was a great honor. It really is. And uh, and and also to have my uh, number 53 retired yeah. was uh, re yeah, really, really good. One of six Vikings all time to have the... Jersey yeah. retired. It yeah. has been an honor having you in the house, McTingle. Well, thank you very much. And thank congratulations you. on the newest arrival of your 12th yeah. grand. You can have a whole <laughs> offensive front there. Yeah, that's right. McTinglehoff here on Game On. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. Fresh off a great spring and all the pieces in place, the Twins now have the weekend ahead with a packed target field and tons of fan expectation. The boys of summer won a World Series and here's to hoping that the Twins get it. Who's cold? It's got to be the Wolves. The season has mercifully come to the final few games with a great effort last weekend against the Celtics. Here's hoping that management can retool and restock the team. Fans are eager for a winning basketball team here in the Twin Cities. That's Who's Hot News Gold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka. Check them out. They're also on Facebook. Friend them at Liberty Comfort Systems. And I'm here with one of the toughest guys in pro lacrosse. It's Andrew Suter of the Minnesota Swarm. How you Great doing? to see you. Good to see you too. Who was out last weekend because of a <laughs> sore knee, but you're going to be all right. You think you'll be able to get through the rest of the season? Absolutely. No, no doubt about it. Nothing's going to hold me out anymore. 21, he's tough as nails. You're one of the Bash brothers. Tell us what that is because you love to mix it up, so to speak. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's a role that uh, you get involved in growing up and uh, actually get to uh, be a part of it with the best in the league and uh, there's a little argument between the two of us that uh, I'm he's Bass Brother 1 when you ask him. Rory, Rory I'm sorry, Smith. Rory Smith, that's right. So uh, it depends who you ask who's 1 or 2, but uh, he's a uh, couple years older than me and uh, just a guy that's kind of taking me under his wing in the dressing room and stuff and uh, tried to groom me, I guess, to try to follow in his footsteps. It's important in lacrosse to have an enforcer, so to speak, just like it is in hockey, isn't it? Uh, exactly. I mean, with the, with the enforcer, 
takes away all the dirty stuff, the stuff after the whistles, guys running by, maybe challenging your bench and whatnot, knowing that there's a guy that can come out and take care of anybody. So it, uh, it makes guys second guess what they say to your team more than anything. So Andrew, are you the reason that Callum gets to score goals? I wouldn't go that far as saying that. I'd love to be able to say that, but be the reason he gets to talk as much as he does probably. He does yap a lot, yeah, so he, you protect him. Yeah, uh, yeah, especially Callum. He, he couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag, so <laughs> he's pretty good. Uh, pretty good one for the example there. It's a better season. You guys certainly want to go deep in the playoffs. Absolutely. Uh, our team doesn't expect anything less than to win. Everybody in our dress room is on the same page, from ownership down through management to everybody. We're all on the same page, and Anything less than a Champions Cup for us this year is, uh, is going to be a letdown, that's for sure. More Swarm Talk with Andrew Suter in just a second. Don't forget, the spotlight in college hockey is on the Twin Cities this week because the Frozen Four is in town. Be a part of it. It's interactive games, autograph sessions, the College Hockey Fan Fest. It's all here for hockey fans. It's a celebration of our rich hockey tradition. Go to our website, GameOnTVMN.com, for more information. And now, what fans are saying about their 2011 Twins, brought to us by Fan HQ. It's the voice of the fan. Got a lot of young talent. Um, I think the pitching is actually coming around. Mm -hmm. uh, worried about the bullpen a little bit, but I think that's going to come around too. I think uh, with Matt Caps and hopefully with Nathan, you know, comes around and with his work ethic, I think he's going to do all right. Here's Beasley, isolated right side. He puts it on the floor to the free throw line. Drops it for Love. Three ball on the way. Got it to go! Kevin Love with a 30-30. Wes Johnson rises up and comes down hard. Ridnour throws it up for Darko and he lifts it in. Tolliver knocks it in. More reasons to get your 2011-2012 season tickets at Timberwolves.com. The Minnesota Timberwolves. United we run. Hi friends, the mission is simple at the Minnesota Real Estate Team. Help buyers and sellers reach their goals. Your needs are handled by a professional team with years of vital experience. They know the Twin Cities and they work on your timeline with no pressure. So get answers. They're your local real estate team. Wallingberg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Great to have you along with us, Rod. And Andrew Suter, the rookie from the Minnesota Swarm. He's a transition player. What does a transition player do? Well, I'm a transition player. You usually start at the defensive end, uh, and then it's to uh, create an opportunity like a fast break in basketball for a quick push, I uh, try to run the ball up and make the defender slide to me and get the ball, uh, the ball to guys like Ryan Banesh and Callum Crawford who have uh, those nice hands around the net and is going to get the nice touches in there. So all it is is kind of switching the rhythm of the game is getting it out of your defensive end into your offensive end. You come from Ontario, Canada, and this is your really, this is your first professional season and it's been a learning experience. You said you had nothing like it. Uh, there's, you know what, a lot of kids wait with the NCAA and the way it works is uh, when you graduate NCAA, you go home and you usually have a year to play with the men in the summer in the senior lacrosse league. Right. Not unfortunately, I never did that. So for me, I got to walk into uh, a training camp as a 21-year-old kid playing against some guys on our team who are 30 plus years old. So the transition and the, the speed and the smartness of the players is something that there's no preparing for. You just have to kind of adapt and try to follow in the footsteps of guys in front of you. I've cut a lot of games this year, and one of the things that one of the things that I'm fascinated by is not just the speed, but how physical it is. You're not a really tall guy, but you're really, you're built, and you take a lot of the hits. Uh, yeah, uh, size isn't everything, right? Uh, you can have a big a big stud out there, a big lump of something that does nothing for you, but who's nothing can't hit anybody if they can't catch them, right? So 
Yeah. Like you look at a uh, perfect example is Andrew Watt. Yeah. He's uh, okay. probably one of the fastest guys going right now, and he, he might not be the biggest guy, but I still haven't seen someone catch him and be able to land a good whack right. on him. So it's been good. Well, you guys get it done. We'll have you back. We're delighted you're here. Welcome to Minnesota. Hope you uh, finish the season the way you guys want. All the best. Thank you very much. Andrew Suter from the Minnesota Swarm. Don't forget, you want to catch up on what's Timberwolves and Lynx? We got you covered. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. It's a great NBA site full of inside information, strong Wolves viewpoints, too, and right at your fingertips. Write me a note, Rod, at GameOnTVMN.com, and look for my new blog every Thursday at 11 o'clock. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. And from the swarm to soccer, this is Tony Sine. Many of you probably recognize the pride of St. Paul. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. 16 professional years. You are the youngest 40-year-old guy I think I've ever seen. Uh, and you just recently have stopped playing after a, a really strong professional career that took you all over the world. Why'd you stop? Old age. Um, oh, stop. Father time was catching up with me, and uh, I had another injury. And I started to work on my foundation, and it kept me so busy, and I enjoyed what I was doing. I never took the time off to rehab, and um, I still haven't. So, When you talk about a professional career that really took you overseas, played in America, what were the highlights for you? Uh, because you have so many different areas in which, in which you played. It is. I mean, there's a lot of highlights. You know, I won the under-19 championship team with my team from St. Paul. Um, I scored a goal my first year in Washington, D.C. In the, in the finals. And, you know, the happiest part of that moment was when I looked up, I had 10 friends from high school sitting in the front row and my brother. So, really? And to see how crazy wild they were going, you know, I was like, you know, I was like, I scored, you know, yeah. they were happy. And, and that made my day. And, you know, you play for the moments and the people around you. So it's fascinating to hear you talk about the end, too, because you didn't second guess your decision. You decided that the rehab wasn't going to happen and you really put your heart and soul into your foundation, right? Yes. I had retired once or twice before, so. Yeah, but, <laughs> but so did uh, far, though. Yeah, but this time, you know, I, I was doing something that I love to do, and it was an easy transition, and the kids are rewarding, and I'm still involved in soccer, and it's what I love to do. Um, I've been blessed with having such a long career, so I, I love being able to give back. Nice stuff. Tony today's with us. We'll have more in just a couple of minutes, but first, let's catch up with the voice of the fan. Fan HQ brings it to us. What are the 2011 Twins going to do for us? I think they're going to be really good because um, with their new infielder, Nishioka, from Japan, I think he's going to do really good. He won batting titles and gold gloves over there, so I think it'll be a good addition. What's your 99? Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. My nine for 99. My nine for 99. The all new Bacon 99er with thick applewood smoked bacon. Or the new crispy chicken Caesar wrap with tender all white meat chicken. My 99. My 99. My 99. We got your 99. Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. Hi friends, talking to you about River City Mortgage and it's no secret today's home buyer needs help navigating and making sense of the right mortgage and finance decisions, Maria at River City Mortgage makes sense of it. She'll help you find the best strategies to fit your financial needs, and she'll offer creative options. Maria's goal, a smooth process for you. Find her at maria at rcmortgage.com, and you'll see firsthand. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us. Rod Simons, Tony Sine, the St. Paul soccer standout. And interestingly enough, looking over your resume, 2009 LA Galaxy, there was a certain guy named Beckham that was playing. That had to be crazy with all the media attention. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a whole other world. I mean, it, it does take a lot of attention away from the game, um, but it's fun. He's a great guy. Um, you know, to see a guy like that so humble with his kids jumping in the laundry bins in the basket, you know, in the locker room, you know, to having, you know, personal bodyguards on every plane and every trip, it's, it's definitely different. It was a different experience. Um, he's a great individual. It was, it was great meeting him, great to play with him, but uh, he is a special story. 
it's got to be good that the MLS is getting the spotlight because if soccer is really going to expand in America, it's got to be through the MLS, wouldn't you think? Yeah, and I think the team's been doing, I mean, the league's been doing very well. It's expanding still. Um, more and more cities and more and more people are becoming comfortable with it, so it helps bring in those high-profile guys. And do you see soccer finding a foothold eventually? I think it has found its foothold. Um, now, do you compare it to, you know, baseball, you know, America's game that's yeah. been here forever? Um, you're battling against baseball, basketball, and football, you know, all with billion-dollar TV contracts, and, you know, you're fighting over dollars and time, so it's difficult. Um, do we become competitive with a sport like hockey? I think we do, and I think it overtakes it. Um, I don't think it's going away, and I think it'll just continue to grow. And before we go, your foundation work is at the bottom of your heart, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, I left the Twin Cities 20 years ago to go to college. I came back because this is where my roots are, and I've been blessed, and I, I want to be able to leave a legacy and teach what I've learned and also just give more kids opportunities. Well, we have Tony's link to his foundation website at GameOnTVMN.com. And quickly, if people want to go to it, what's the website? www.thesanefoundation.org. Thank you, Tony, for being with us. Have you back during soccer season, and we'll get after it very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. And don't forget, college hockey is in town this week. The Frozen Four has arrived. You can be a part of it. Interactive games, autograph sessions, the College Hockey Fan Fest. It's all here for hockey fans, and it truly is a celebration of the rich hockey tradition that is ours in Minnesota. Go to our website, GameOnTVMN.com, for more information. And on Game On, it's time to spotlight the high schools. As you know, it's been a month of playoffs, and we are so delighted to have the state champion boys hockey team from Eden Prairie in the house. Coach, great to have you with us. And when you talk about success, you guys know what it's all about because these kids have been, these young men have been with you. Uh, two of the last three years have been state champs, and all they've been doing is winning from the time they were this tall. Yeah, they are a great group of kids all the way through. They've worked really hard and uh, played together, played team hockey all the way through, and they've had great success. But in the 67 years of state championship hockey, they've never seen a game like the one you guys played. 3-2, triple overtime. You had to, you still have hair, so you were pulling it all out. Had to be crazy. No, it was intense. Uh, just to get us to the overtime, the Wrath boys had to come through and score some big goals, and Andrew had to make some big saves. And then when we got into overtime, then you just don't know what's going to happen there. You just hope for the best. Nice job. Congratulations. The state champion, Eden Prairie Eagles, with us in their big win over Duluth East. And right now, time to hear our voice of the fan brought to us by Fan HQ at the Ridgedale Mall, talking about the 2011 Twins and all the expectations. I think Artie's uh, making our right adjustments this year. New uh, relievers are kind of, uh, at least something different this year, but I think they play well as a team and they play, you know, as a team seems smart, you know, they just play it really hard and I think they'll be okay. And when you need to move around the metro, call on City View White Knight Limousine. Town cars, limousines, SUVs, City View is safe, reliable. They'll handle all your needs. Get them on the web at cityviewlimo.com and friend them on Facebook at City View Limo. Wallingberg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Wallingberg and Deebly is there. Wallingberg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Hi friends, the mission is simple at the Minnesota Real Estate Team. Help buyers and sellers reach their goals. Your needs are handled by a professional team with years of vital experience. They know the Twin Cities and they work on your timeline with no pressure. So get answers. They're your local real estate team. Get ready to enter the hive. Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm Lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. 
For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. Time now for the Wheels of Thunder week ahead. There you see the Wolves, the Wild, and the Swarm. The Twins, their home opener at Target Field, April 8th against Oakland. Their star soccer, the Lynx, June 5th against the LA Sparks. The Machine, that's women's professional football. That's right, April 16th against Wisconsin. Stand Up for Kids, April 15th. That's Cedric Griffin's charity. And My Golf for the Gift of Adoption, June 23rd at Troy Byrne Golf Club. And don't forget, Scott Baker at Fan HQ, 11 a.m. Come join us, that'll be a good time. Scott Baker at Fan HQ. And it is time for the Mayak Minute. Great to have the Tommies in the house, the national champion Tommies. Anders Halverson, Coach Steve Fritz. Anders, does it ever get old to hear you're, that you're a national champion? No, not yet. I don't think it will for a while. That's a beautiful thing. It's great, yeah. What's it like to hold it? A little heavy, but it feels great. Coach Steve Fritz, 30 years of coaching, your first national championship. You've been smiling since the time you got here. And it'll be a while uh, before we give that up, too. <laughs> What's the feeling been like? Oh, it's just the greatest, you know, just to see these kids be able to accomplish what they did. And uh, certainly coaches enjoy it a lot. But to, just to watch the kids and how much they enjoyed it and appreciated it, it's worth it. You guys not only worked for it on the court, it took you forever to get there. You got there and it was a little bit of a scene like out of Hoosiers because you were in a gigantic arena. But when it came time to play basketball, you guys were all business. Yeah, I mean, we got in late and then we practiced Thursday. We were ready to go by the game time on Friday night. So, so after practice, you knew that your, your guys were all right? Uh, no question. You get that out of there and you really get back to business when you hit the floor. There's been expectations about the Tommy basketball team all season long. Were you a little nervous that the team wouldn't live up to the expectations? Oh, you always worry about that, but you know, because we were 30 and one a year, two years right. ago, and these guys were sophomores. And uh, but we, we really knew, uh, you know, about five weeks ago that, you know, with the seniors we had, they really they really said this is time to do it, and they did. Congratulations, national champion Tommy's. Thanks a lot. Great to have you. That's our Mayak minute, and a very special Mayak minute at that. And don't forget, you can join us in person every Tuesday. Take in a live taping. Meet the champions. Meet the Vikings. Meet everybody who comes to the courtside bar and grill. We have a special Lynx NCAA Women's Championship viewing party on April 5th. Coach Reed will be with us. The Hopkins High School basketball champions will be here. Have the Swarm head coach live taping. We have away tickets and autographs, all that good stuff. Join us, courtside bar and grill for Game On. Speaking of courtside, GM Craig Carger is here and he's talking darts. That's right, Rod. The spring leagues are now forming for darts here at courtside. We play on Tuesday nights during Game On, yep. Wednesday nights, and also Sundays during the day. How can people register if they want to get in? Then go to our website at www.courtsideanoka.com. $5 burgers on Monday, that's a good Monday. deal. Yeah, it's a great deal. Great stuff, and congratulations on the one year anniversary of courtside. Thank you very much. Don't forget, we'd love to have you join us for the fourth annual Rod Simons Golf for the Gift of Adoption Celebrity Golf Classic on June 23rd at Troy Byrne in Hudson, Wisconsin. It's a day of outstanding golf, fun, relaxation, and it's all to help adoptive families through grants created by the Gift of Adoption Fund. It's Golf for the Gift, June 23rd. Check us out at golfforthegift.com and join us. We'd love to have you with us. Woo, been a busy show. That's it for us. Don't forget, check us out for all the updates at GameOnTVMN.com. We're also on Twitter, and we do answer our tweets. So have a great week, and we'll see you back here next Sunday for Game On.